Hey, it's TR back with another video in my truck camper renovation series. And as you can see, I'm doing a little bit of selective surgery. Yeah, so I'm uh, digging into this, trying to figure out just how far the rot goes. And I've kind of got this piece of the corner torn apart. I already know this board's rotten. I'm gonna have to replace it. It looks like these are probably okay. That piece of plywood that was up there is rotten. And so I'm pretty excited. Well, not really. I mean, this is a lot of work, but uh, it's not as bad as I kind of anticipated. However, up in this corner here is looking pretty sketchy and that's gonna be a bugger to dig into. I'm trying to do the minimal amount of stuff inside as possible, right? I mean, well, we'll see how far I can get with that. But for right now, I'm just kind of digging into this and trying to figure out what's rotten and what's not. It took about four hours to get to this point today where I've got, you know, the skin removed back to here. And I think I'm finally ahead of all the rot. There's one piece right here I need to get out. Everything else looks fine. I probably could have stopped right here. I wanted to go ahead and just replace this wall in the kitchen as one continuous piece. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully that's not quite four feet wide. Okay, so it's the next day on the truck camper rebuild. You can see I've got this wall pretty much taken out all the way back to here. It is sagging a little bit in the front. I do have it supported with this ladder and that four by four, so that's helping keeping the nose up. But it's sagging pretty good right in here. Plus the roof is rotten right in there. That's all gonna get replaced eventually as well. But I'm kind of working my way up, all right? So I'm trying to depend on the support here. I could probably have used some support here. I can see that this is sagging a little bit. Now I'll level all that out and straighten it all up when we put the structure back on. But I just got back from Home Depot, spent 120 bucks on some lumber. It's coming down, but it's still hella expensive. We're going to get through it. Okay, so here's the remains of the wall we took out yesterday. All this stuff here is getting replaced. I'm just going to replace the whole wall, as you saw. That's all eventually going to end up in the garbage. Then all of this structure here, except for the pieces that are busted, I took these out in big pieces because I fully intend to reuse this structure. Uh, I'm just going to strip this wall off that you see here. And when I get the new wall up there, then I'll go back with this structure and put it back together. These staples, I'm not going to be able to staple it like they did from the factory. I'm going to screw it. Uh, I don't have one of those fancy Craig jigs. I don't think I'm going to need it. This isn't precision joinery. I just want things to be pulled together tight and have it structurally sound. Well, like all projects, you got to make a mess to make it better. And I got a pretty good mess going on back here. I think I'm finally through all the rot, at least up in the front here. There's a little bit in the back still to take care of. But, you know, I've got this overhead all tore apart now. I'm down to good wood in most cases. There's still a little bit of rotten wood up there I got to take care of. But and that's where we're at for right now. Back again tomorrow.
Now we're getting our first look at the underside of the roof. That vent right here, this is all rotted, moldy. It's been leaking and wet for a while. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get this OSB off and then let's take a look at what's going on with the structure underneath this. I know there's other stuff that needs to be repaired back here, like this area through here is completely rotted. Not so bad on that side. But of course, you know, we got wasp nests from way back when in here. So we got some work ahead of us. I'll get the sheathing off, then we'll see what's going on underneath this piece of sheathing. It's not looking so good back here. We actually have water standing on this roof. I hadn't noticed it inside, but, and it's pretty rotten over here. You can see this had rotted out before and had done some kind of a patch on it. We're gonna fix it right. Yeah, so I need to take and pick this apart a little bit through here and I gotta get these wires out of here. So just as a note to myself, all the whites are neutrals or ground. And of course this green one is a ground. This blue one looks like a hot wire. It goes to blue here. I'm going to trace this one because I'm not exactly sure. But I got to think it's a hot wire. Let's see if I can... Is it, is it two wires tied together? It could very well be. Let's see if we can get a little slack in these. Here. By pulling these staples out. Right, well, this black wire is going to the other side which goes to the battery, I'll bet you. So these black wires go to this blue, which is hot. So I think I'll just uh, take them apart right here. Maybe. All right. The black are power, but I've got three blacks. There's one, there's two, so these two are, I gotta think that one probably comes from the battery, it comes from the other side. Well, as usual, the deeper you dig, the more shit you find. And I've got some issues here. It's into this corner, which I was hoping it wouldn't be. But I'm gonna have to replace this whole piece of wood here. And so that means I'm gonna have to pull all this out, which is fine, I don't see any real issues with it. Uh, other than it's just kind of a pain in the butt to get these, you know, out. But we'll make it work. So I've got most of the demolition done. I've got it picked apart, all the rots out of it, at least down below here. I'm gonna get this all rebuilt. I'll get started working on rebuilding the frame here early next week. I gotta get things covered up and put away, expecting some storms tomorrow. Thunder, lightning, rain, all that kind of crap. So I won't be able to work on it tomorrow, which is just fine. I need to catch up on some videos. So you guys will have some videos to watch. There's still a lot to do on this thing. I mean, am I overwhelmed? Well, maybe a little bit. I'm just 
well, not overwhelmed. I guess I'm just kind of going, wow, this is going to be a lot of work. But I knew that was going to be the case when I got into it. So what can I say? If you found value in this video, give me that thumbs up. Always appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell. A lot of videos still to come on this truck camper rebuild for sure. But for now, it's time to go. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together for another truck camper renovation video, peace.